everybody. So today I am doing a splendid crafting and cocktails. I have kind of gotten started before you got here uh, because I didn't, oh, and don't you love this lovely backlighting because I'm apparently an angel. Oh. No, actually I'm just sitting here at my couch working on something and drinking and I thought maybe you guys might want to see what's up. So, uh, so first of all, I am drinking Bud Select 55, which is my beer of choice sometimes. Uh, it's my beer of choice right now. I'm actually a bigger fan of Boulevard Wheat, but bygones. This is what I've got. This is what I'm drinking. And what I am working on are paper, hydrangea, prom promades, pro I don't know. There's a word for it. I'm not really sure what it is, but this is what I'm talking about. This right here. It's a ball of paper, red paper hydrangeas. Aren't that, isn't it precious? Okay. Precious. Okay. And it's, uh, you know, not quite done. So, uh, I did a lot of the work before this and this is merely the assembly portion of this, but I'm going to take you through all of what you need and then how to make your own if you feel so inclined. Uh, if you don't feel so inclined, by all means, just sit here and watch me try to be coherent while I drink beer and do crafts. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to fix something. Hold on. Not da -da. Oh, that was painful. All right. Why won't you work? There. <laughs> okay. So first, uh, a few nights ago, I punched about 5,000 of these little guys. Uh, these are made out of a red, almost cardstock kind of stuff. It's a, like an artist paper that I had found. I was more concerned about finding the right red in a cardstock and I couldn't find like a pack of paper that was just this red cardstock. That was a price that I was willing to pay. So this is actually like an artist paper that was slightly smaller than a poster board size. And uh, I found it at Hobby Lobby and it was $2.50 for a sheet. So that's what I have used for my paper flowers. Now you would want to have anything, like if you just wanted white flowers, I would suggest going to Walmart and getting a pack of white cardstock that they have in like the printer paper aisle. Uh, or any kind, I mean, whatever colors you want. You just want a cardstock or slightly uh, less firm. I don't recommend a construction paper. Not only is construction paper a little flimsy, but it also fades in the color if it's got any sun or age to it. So these would obviously like expire almost like real flowers. Hmm. Um, so anyway, that's the paper I used. So I spent, got two pieces of paper and they produced for me like a kajillion of these flowers. And I have no idea how many of them I actually need. I just kept punching until the paper was gone. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so I spent like $5 on paper. Then to actually produce the punches, I have this, which is a Martha Stewart brand paper puncher. Uh, it is, I believe it is called Hydrangea. And I got this on Amazon and I could not find it when I looked at any of the craft stores. It's possible that I missed it, but I went to Joann's and Hobby Lobby. I did not go to Michael's, but I could, did not see it at either of those places. So it might be online only. And I believe this was $9 and something cents, but obviously this is uh, multi-use. I can keep making paper hydrangeas as long as the day. Uh, but it is a cool little punch because the paper, the flower petals that it produces are not like mirror images. They are funky. Each petal is a little different shaped and that's pretty cool in my book. I think that's pretty cool. So it doesn't, it looks a little bit more realistic than, you know, like a daisy sort of shape. Uh, then I needed pins because these are stuck in here with little pearl tip pins. And I got those on Amazon as well. And they come in little wheels lots of little wheels. Uh, I have 480 of them and I think I paid $7 for them on Prime. So there was free shipping and they came in two days. I also happen to have another 480 of them coming because I ordered the cheap one that had free shipping on Prime or on Amazon and they were not Prime and I did not realize that they were not going to be here until June. So I had to reorder. I ordered some other ones. And so I will have a whole lot more of these to use to make a whole lot more flowers. That'll be great. Uh, so yeah, 
bygones on that. I just really wanted to get it done quicker than I found out I was going to be able to. The last item that we needed was foam balls. These are actually kind of the most expensive part of the process because these are not cheap at all and I thought that they totally would be. Uh, I got two of them this size. I think they were like five dollars for the two of these and I'm gonna need a lot more so I haven't bought a whole lot of them yet because I wanted to see how it weren't first and I want to get it some different sizes. I want some little ones and I think this might be the biggest size that I'm gonna go with. I'm not really sure yet but anyway they work so can't complain too much about that. They are a little bit of a mess. Don't you love my Ninja Turtles t-shirt? I think I've worn it for a couple of videos but these shirts from Target are like the softest thing ever. I told a friend of mine today, I was like, I don't think I would care if it had a spot sticker on it. I would still wear it. Most comfortable damn t-shirt I've ever had. Moving on. So the process here is pretty simple. And I'm working on my ottoman here in front of my couch. Because as you see, like I have, here's my setup. I have my pins stuck into the ottoman here. And I just have the papers, the, the flowers kind of spread strewn about so that all I have to do is pick up the pin and stab one in the middle and then stab an, oop, another one in the middle and then I've got this to stab into the ball you know in the wherever I feel like it okay so that's all the setup you're gonna see because that whole trying to show you what I'm seeing thing is just not my bag of m &Ms. I don't know. Is that a thing? Have I been drinking too much? Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. So, so you see here that I have stabbed it, you know, into the middle. And I try to push it all the way up because the pearl head has a little bit of plastic still on the needle part. So I try to drive it all the way in. And then I kind of pull the petals up a little bit. Give it some dimension. And then I try to make sure that it is an alternated view instead of the petals overlapping. And then I just find a spot on here. And there's a good spot that needs a little... Whenever I saw some DIY uh, on Pinterest, they recommended going in lines. Uh, I was failing at the lines part of it. I was not good at making lines. And so now it looks like they are drunk lines, which is fine. I didn't really like that. Uh, also because the, 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 you know, the dots were all going to be in like these lines and it was going to be all like grid like, and I don't really care for that crap at all. I don't want it to look ordered. I want it to look like flowers, you know, and flowers. I don't know if you guys have flowers, but they are not ordered at all. So anyway, it made me sad. Uh, and I don't have a whole lot more to go. So I think that I am doing fine now. What I think that I thought originally that I might have to do is put them all in and then go back and glue them in. But so far, they don't seem to be falling out. And I really hope that they don't because it's a little bit more tedious, uh, this idea of punching them all in than I thought. And I really don't want to take them out again, even if it's one by one and gluing them. I really don't want to. So I'm hoping that I don't have to do that. But like I said, I think they are kind of holding their own. And, uh, and fingers crossed that I don't have to redo anything. Uh, but I am pretty happy with it. What I'm going to do with these is they're going to be centerpieces for a shower that I'm helping throw, uh, where their wedding colors are this darker red and white. And I'm hoping to put them, like, I've got a, this, like, candle holder that I'm going to set these on and do like a couple different sizes at on each centerpiece. I think it'll be super cute. And maybe I'll show you guys a bunch of uh, like everything that I've worked on all together in one video. Show you like how the, the venue looks, if it looks cute. If it doesn't look cute, then you don't get to see it. Sorry, I don't, I don't show my failures. Not that it'll be a failure. I'm a little worried because the venue originally, one of the, the wedding colors were gonna be more of a burgundy and white and black which would be like standard wedding colors unless you do like a gray or something as your neutral. But, uh, and the venue that we found for the shower has a lot of burgundy in their decor. And since then she went with more of a, just a dark red instead of a burgundy. And so now I'm afraid that the burgundy is gonna clash with the dark red, but you know, time will tell. I don't know if we care enough. <laughs> 
it's just the shower it's not the wedding so whatever I'm also I mean as far as things that we're working on for this shower I've got lots of stuff that I'm going to show you guys I'm going to be painting some glasses for it and I've got some more uh decorations that I'm going to make out of doilies I think they're going to be super cute even though I was told not to make any doily things because I like doilies and maybe other people don't like doilies this is the renegade in me you know so I you know, if you're interested in, like, shower kind of or wedding type decorations, definitely subscribe and stay tuned and see what else I've got coming up because it's a lot of neat ideas that I'm working with, a lot of Pinterest type stuff. I'm really excited about some of the things that I'm making, so you should be too. Uh, and I'll try to keep things as DIY as possible and not try to do too many things that are, you know, specific talent type things. Um, so I think that's it. Like I said, subscribe. Uh, if you want to catch some more of these videos, comment. If you have a suggestion for a better drink for me to have, uh, any questions, by all means, ask away. And uh, I guess I will just catch you on the flip side. Later.